So today we are going to continue from where we stopped. I think this will be part 18, if I'm not mistaken. And today we are going to actually be doing um, uh, post a new country. This is very important. And in the last tutorial, we actually did get by ID and it's working perfectly well. Get by ID works. And today we are now going to post a new country. This is very important because we are now going to be getting information coming from the body of the request and sending it to, to the controller and process this request. Okay, again, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. And also, please drop me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever. And I'll also always be there to help you fix it. Connect with me on my social network profile, GitHub, LinkedIn. Uh, Instagram and also feel free to clone this repository from my link uh, github repository online because you have this uh, file or uh, this application available for you all right so I'm going to click on the next post the next post is now uh, part 3 that says post quit and delete now to make a post request is about the similar to what we already did so I'm going to the country service we're going to write a function to actually insert a new item into the database. The basic SQL statement we're going to write to actually insert, and this SQL statement also will uh, be taking a parameter and returning, this time maybe returning nothing. I will be copying and pasting because this is something quite clear. Uh, so what is happening here, we have save country and it's an async function in certain to country, uh, capital, code, continent, description, nationality. And we have values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we are not inserting the ID. We are not inserting the ID here. Uh, but we could actually insert the ID. So I'm going to now put ID right here and say $1, uh, $1, $2. So I'm going to now say $1 one and dollar two uh dollar two dollar three uh but yeah i think we're on track so dollar four i'll let i'll be explaining something to you after now because some somehow we might have an error and i will be explaining to you the problems that might occur when you try to insert items um into a database into sql into your database um so right so let's see um yes so the post request is like this so it's going to be dot post so i'm going to be copying it onto the controller it's, it looks a bit verbose but it's quite quiet right i'm going to remove this console statement here so it's quite clear it says post to slash countries and we have a request coming this request have a body that contains the object you actually want to uh, insert. And once it's inserted, it says country was inserted and returns 200, error, co um, error code 200. If there's an error that occurs, it's going to return the error message to the, to the, to the user or back as a response. So let's go try it out and let's see what we have. This time, I'm going to say file, save all, but there is something I need to mention. You have to use body parser, all right? So we need to install uh, body parser and tell the, let me see. So we are going to say uh, router.use body parser. So I'm going to stop this server from running and we are going to install body. Body parser is simply a module that, um, library that helps to convert the body of a request onto JSON. So I'm going to say npm install body parser. Okay. Great. So uh, I can actually say router does use here, uh, but I, I will just use it here. So I'm going to say const body body. Uh, What's happening to me? Body parser is equal to require parser. Just so make sure I get the correct spelling. Require. It's going to be equal. Require and specify 
body parser. And now we want to tell the router to use the body parser so that when a request is coming coming in, it's going to uh, actually uh, format the body of the request as JSON. So I'm going to say router.use and give it body parser.json. All right, perfect. Okay, so the next thing we want to do now is we have to fire out this application and see and try to insert a new item into the database. So I'm going to say file, save all, and I'm going to fire up the application using npm run dev and the application actually fires up at port 8800 just to check that everything is still working. Everything is still working perfectly well. But now to make a request, we cannot use the browser. We have to use Postman because this is a client to actually uh, use to make a request. HTTP request response on your client side. So I have this Postman application. If you want to download and install, it's free. Find the link in the description box of this video and quickly download and install Postman. So the URL uh, port, the port number is 8880. So if I come here and just change this port number to 8880 and hit the sign key here, you see that it actually uh, retrieves some data. So you can actually see raw, preview, but visualize. Okay, so let's leave it at this. Fine, this is pretty. State use is 200, okay, as you can see. Now we want to now do a post, okay? So I'm going to uh, just kind of copy the body from here because we are going to use this to do a post. So I'm going to change this to post and I'm going to body. Okay, I already have something there, but let me just place another one here. So I'm going to change the ID to, for instance, uh, 10. And what country do I insert? Let's say Ukraine, Ukrainian, Ukrainian. And the description is going to be Ukraine. Continent is Europe. Code is UKR. And the capital, capital of Ukraine is Kyiv. Okay, so let's try it and see what we have. So I'm going to hit the send key and it says um, error called variable six out of frame parameter array length five. Let's go check. Um, so if I go to the service, so um, parameter array range five, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here we should have country dot id okay so this is where the problem is coming from and i'd like to restart this after i save everything so i'm going to say save all and let's restart npm run uh, run dev and it's restarted and i'm going to hit send to insert uh, no data return from query but i think it's inserted um so because we don't actually expect any data later on we're going to be talking about how to return a response at time session. For now, there is no data return from the query. So if I go back to do a GET request, and let's see if it inserted Ukraine. If I go down, you can see it actually inserted Ukraine, as you can see right here. So it worked, so our post method worked. So the next thing we are going to be talking about is update, and then we are going to be talking about delete. Since I promised to make this video to be short, I'd like to stop here. Please remember to subscribe and also leave me a comment if you have any comments. And let's see in the next part.